Hello everyone, my name is Jasper again. In this video, I want to teach you a guide everything about the assassin. I will be cutting this section into three parts. So first is the job trees and affinities. And next will be strategy showcase. I will be fighting a certain enemy and teach you how to properly use the job itself and teach you how to yeah, some of my personal tips. And last part is the build suggestion. I will be uh, sorry. Uh, build suggestion are only focused on my point of view. You can always make your own build in this game as long as you have the enough stuff stats and affinities so yeah let's get started what does the assassinate do tips jobs assassinate is the one that uh, when you deal critical damage there will be a mark and when there is a mark once you activate the assassinate there will be a lot of uh, slash attacks that will deal a great amount of break damage and it's also scaling agility as well. So let's get started on the job there is. The master of assassinate is refills, I think it refills your MP when you use the assassinate. So yeah. Passive stats are social damage dealt, evade invisibility, extend, and critical break damage. And the abilities you can get are cloak fan from dagger, uh, falcon drive from fist from knuckles, maim from dagger, and I think there's another one. Oh, there's, I think there's another one, no more. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, the links are for the daggers and uh, knuckles, uh, charge or able to recharge, same with the lance, and the, the this one. The third link enhances critical bonus for daggers, and also third link for the critical, third link for the knuckles, and the charge thing, this is the charge thing for the daggers, and uh, this is the third link for the lance, which is the enhanced critical bonuses. So, the command ability you can get in this game is the invisible. Invisible is makes you less enemy to target you, but uh, that but this won't work if you're solo because, you know, enemies will, uh, and all enemy are kind of programmed to target one enemy. But if you have an AI, it will work, and also increase your damage of, uh, of all your critical hits. Okay, so let's get started about the evocation ultima. As you can see, they have the same stats but different things. For the evocation, we got for the daggers to side link and increase attack speed, while the ultima is a forward link of the knuckles, which is targeted nearby enemies. So, the difference between the evocation and the ultima job ability is that when you chain cancel, uh, you actually perform the assassinate itself, and it, ca it doesn't cost any MP. So, yeah. The ultima, if you don't have a marks, but if you use this, see, there will be a slashing hits that triggers a. This will also. Uh, these are uh, are marked, even if it's not critical, it is always be a mark one. So this is really a good one if you want to go play for the non marks, go for the ultima. If you want to go for the combos, go for the evocation. So let's go about the affinities, but before that, I guess we can change. We can see. Wait. The weapons you can use are there's a mace. Okay, that's good to know. There's a mace and gun. I guess I can edit this on my list, but don't worry. On the list, this will be uh, wait. Katana, knuckles. Yeah, katana. Oh, there's no katana. Sorry about that. I guess I can change my edit. A mace and, uh, and gun. Okay, so let's start with the affinity. The affinities are agility, agility again, and reduce social break cost. Uh, agility, but there's some stamina intellect. Agility, uh, social break cost reduced, and agility. Uh, applies a agility bonus for your combo abilities. And increase break damage when you take no longer damage after avoiding. But this will be removed as soon as you get damage. Uh, as long as you get hit, uh, though. Successful soul shield increase your agility with maximum of 20 stacks. And of course, 800 enhances your stats. And also, you can actually see the 400. Uh, 400. There is this. And it stays with the other job as long as you don't get hit. But the build up only works for the active affinity. So let's get started. Yeah. Let's see if I have more. About this one, no. Oh, I guess I can go this one. 
And the assassinate also scales for slash attack type and the agility. So do take note of if you want to focus. So I, my favorite one is using the third link. Oh no. We fight this guy because this guy is actually immune to slash. There you go. See there's a mark of assassin, uh, the logo of assassinate. It doesn't need, need to use the abilities as long as you have the uh, damage. There you go, and, and I chain cancel, there you go. Another one, the chain cancel. Yo, I'm just spamming this shit. <laughs> and he's even have a slow because of my Shiva. Wait, I have no more barrage, that's why. Oh, by the way, if there's no look, nothing happens to the... Nothing happens to the assassin if there's no deck. Like you just cast a spell that with the useless. So always remember that there sh you should always check the marks before you activate healings. Before they activate the assassin. Now in order for you to run the critical, uh, there are some ways. 600 samurai. 400 samurai or if you attack the enemy from the behind or if there's a uh, staggered enemy like Marilit when he got staggered that is also critical all, all of your critical will be hit But do take note that some bosses are, are resistant to, to slash strike. There you go. Unlike uh, like Craig Law, he's actually a high resistant to slash. You can actually see it take a lot of while for me to kill that because he's a sla slash resistant boss. Uh, if I can remember right, also Iron Giant is slash resistant. So yeah, that's good. Go back. I see a lot of assassin players that use the Chronostasis of the Tiger, which is also good because that is pure slash. And man, I just want to use the Cyclone, like spin to him. And one downside of the Cyclone is the range. The range is really not that good. So, I will be focusing on my build suggestion on the agility. Because Assassin is mostly on agility, but if you can make it on some stats, then good for you, man. And also the some stats per 100 will be always on the description or on the list. So let's get started. Of course, the my suggestion will always be for the first time is for the first is always go for for 100 of your basic weapon. Whether if it's a mage, go for mage, uh, knuckles, pugilist, daggers for duelist, lance for lancer and gun and marksman. Why did I suggest that? Because 400 increases the damage of your ability and also unlock the weapon abilities. Also. Now, 250 of each weapon are unique. Some are actually really good. Like the axe, axe added the one charge, and the knuckles, where the charge attack of the normal attack will be deals a lot more damage. So, yeah, let's get started. So, of course, uh, I think tip will be a good one. Even though it's a, if it is a luck one, if it's a luck stat, I think there's a great amount of agility. And if you want to go for instant ability as well. 
monk if you want to deal more damage depending of your hp and increase your max hp and all of your party buffs will be uh will be longer duration and yeah a balance speed and increase your break damage next will be 600 dragon if you want to recover hp enemy when dealing weaknesses increase your attack speed when lightbringer uh, enemies defeated by action ability will be ended with the soul burst and strength and agility stat and enemy weakness break damage now 600 samurai i think this is the best part for the uh, assassin because all of your ability links will be critical because you always want to go for a critical 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 when you go for assassin and yeah when you use ability all of your abilities will be critical that's why my cyclone is always having a mark 400 if you have next your your next habit will be critical if you perform a party temporarily increase damage that after chain cancelling strength and agility stat and reduce the epic cost of uh, abilities next will be hunter the more agility you have the more the break damage you give uh, restore mp the fixed amount regardless of damage dealt and makes it easier to perform behind enemies there and enhance the critical i think this is uh, uh makes the critical a bit easier even though if it's not behind like a side i think that works and also critical will be also enhanced agility stat intellect and strength if it's breakage by enemy weaknesses next will be ninja all the abilities you perform will be debuff the enemy that reduce their breakage recover speed all at uh, 400 all ability will temporarily uh, decrease the max breakage of recovery oh, wait sorry this is the 401 the 600 is after avoiding uh, restore MP. 250 critical will reduce the max breakage and agility stat. Uh, enemy uh, afflict with ailment increase your MP normal recovery rates. Next assassin, six, uh, of course 600 assassin. <laughs> we'll be talking about that. And tyrant if you want to go for, for critical always if you status ailment and enemy. Take note only ailments not debuffs. Okay. 600 for temporary MP recovery for chain cancelling. Uh, restore HP with dealing enemy weaknesses and agility stat bonuses. Summoner for 600 for more powerful primary blessing. 400 increase buff duration and decrease sustain MP cost. And yeah, balance B stat and increase max MP when chain cancelling. So that's about it. I can show to you my build. Here's one. Basically, mainly focus on the barrage. And if you want to copy my monsters, here's one. Lenny, Howl, Dawn, Serena, and Mid. And also my master points. Our most on agility. I think I'm going to change this one. Because it's too much. Uh, status element and buff duration. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.